The Twelve Days of Christmas, Day 11. Hello, this is Harrods of Knightsbridge. My name is Reginald. How may I help you? Oh, hello again, sir. Another day, another delightful dialogue between us. How I look forward to our little chat, sir. Now, what challenge can I clear up for you today, sir? Eleven pipers piping? Yes, sir. Oh, you didn't expect them to be bagpipers piping? You thought they might be flautis fluting or something? Oh, no, sir. They are most definitely bagpipers, sir, as per the description in our catalogue. And yes, as you have quite obviously already noticed. For the piping in of the haggis, sir. For your grand feast. The grand finale to your festive celebrations. You despise the taste of haggis? I'm rather fond of it, sir. But I do appreciate it can be an acquired taste, sir. We shall just have to disagree on that one, sir. Oh, and you're not having a grand feast either? Well, sir, you didn't make that known to us here at Harrods. Well, you should have checked all the relevant tick boxes on your order form, sir. So I'm afraid you have been delivered with the default 11 bagpipers piping. That's 10 plus a travelling reserve, sir, in case of injury or illness. As per the contractual arrangement, sir. Well, they do need to properly warm up, sir, especially after a long journey. They've been playing for two hours straight now. Yes, an extraordinary display of stamina, you must agree, sir. And you would expect nothing less from the highly trained, highly motivated and extraordinarily fit Hyrads Highland bagpipers, sir. The finest that Scotland can produce. La creme de la creme, sir. Well, there's no need to shout, sir, or in such a stridently offensive term, sir. If you cannot moderate your language and attitude towards me, sir, I will, although with a great deal of regret, be forced to terminate our call. Well, that's all right, sir. I understand you're under a little pressure, and I do accept your apology, and I sympathise with your, um, predicament, sir. Yes, indeed, the bagpipes are, like the haggis, a very acquired taste, sir, especially en masse. Does eleven pipers piping constitute en masse, I wonder? Hmm. Anyway, so how exactly can I help you, sir? What is it exactly you need me to do for you? Call them off, please. Do I get a pretty please, sir? 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 Sir, you, you, you're starting again. You're, you're starting in with the, with the language and the shouting, sir. Yeah, please, please calm down, sir. Well, it's just my trying to inject a little humour into an otherwise contentious circumstance, sir. In order to release the emotional pressure valve somewhat, sir. There. That wasn't so hard, was it, sir? Although, as pretty pleases go, it was a tad light on sincerity, sir, but I'll take it. Oh, yes, I can hear them starting up again, sir. And yes, it is rather loud, isn't it? It's rather like having your own personal Edinburgh military tattoo in your front yard, sir. Well, sir, they are only contracted to play for another thirty minutes. Surely you can just wait them out until they finish? Ah, an angry mob of your neighbours has gathered at your gate, armed with pitchforks and flaming torches. I see. Well, might I ask, sir, um, what are the chances of your gated entranceway being breached by said angry mob, sir? Pretty low. Well, that's good. Um... Can I therefore make a suggestion then, sir, for how to deal with your somewhat irate neighbours? Yes, sir. Yes, why not let the calling birds out, sir, down by your front gate? Extremely territorial, the calling birds, sir, and very aggressive and very violent as a consequence. 
I confidently predict that your angry mob will be dispersed, scared off back to their homes within thirty minutes, sir. Oh, no. Recapturing the calling birds afterwards is, I'm afraid, entirely your responsibility, sir, as per the contractual terms and conditions. I would strongly suggest, however, that you wear appropriate full protective equipment, sir, and use a large net attached to the far end of a very long stick to trap the calling birds, sir. And with respect to the pipers, sir, well, you could try using earplugs, sir. That helped? Oh, of course, you can't hear me now. Did that help, sir? It did. Well, thank goodness for that, sir. Very good, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Yes, Reginald, sir. That's right. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. 